Why did Dave Gavitt ask Larry to put off retiring for two more weeks when clearly he was too hurt to play anymore? Yeah, I mean, Dave knew better than anybody because Dave was part of the Olympic Committee too, USA mm -hmm. Basketball. So he saw what Larry went through in Barcelona and he knew that Larry wasn't going to be playing much longer. So Larry went in, I think it was about three weeks after those Olympic Games and said, I'm done and retiring. And Dave said to him, you know, hang on a couple more weeks. And Larry said, Dave, I know what you're doing. I know in a couple more weeks my next year's salary kicks in. I think it was about $7 million. Larry said, I'm not taking any money I'm not going to earn. And I wouldn't be earning that money, so you can have it. I'm retiring right now, today. And he did. And I remember, I was on vacation with my family. I had my first child. She was three months old. I was in Ossoby, New Hampshire, in a cabin with no phone. And they still found me to drive home and cover the Larry Bird retirement mm -hmm. press conference. So it was that big and that sudden. It just happened like that. He went in that morning. That afternoon, they had the press conference. He didn't want a lot of hoopla. He didn't wow. want him a lot of advance notice. That was the way Larry wanted to go out. No farewell tour. No, his <laughs> wife was in Indiana getting her hair done. She was too emotional, didn't want to be there. So he went home, you know, had some dinner with some friends, and that was it. He calls that pre press conference one of the happiest days of his life. Why? Yeah. Well, he was done playing. He was, you know, he loved the game, but the game by that point, or his body had betrayed him by that point. He couldn't play anymore. He couldn't play at the level he wanted to play. And the big thing for Larry was he couldn't practice. Larry wasn't happy unless he could practice because that's how he got so good. And so many, you know, his back was so bad that when he wasn't playing, he was wearing that brace. He certainly wasn't practicing with the team. And he couldn't get his rhythm in. He couldn't get his, you know, his touches like he liked to. So I think he was tired of being in pain and tired of having to play above all these problems. So I think for once he could finally say, you know what, I'm done. And he knew, because he had fusion, he had serious back fusion surgery. He knew he could never play again. He said it was easy for me to stay retired, unlike Irvin, mm -hmm. Jordan, and some of these others who thought they wanted to retire and came back. Larry said, I knew I could never come back because of the, the fusion surgery. So for me, it was as final as final could be. And I think it was just a huge relief after 12, 13 seasons of just beating his body to a pulp. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.